my research revolves around uh, galaxies, their formation and how they evolve over time. Big galaxies like our own Milky Way and Andromeda are not born the way they look like today. So are the low mass dwarf galaxies surrounding them. In fact, these dwarf galaxies, a vast majority of the galaxies are in the low mass regime. These galaxies host complex dynamical structures, enriched chemically and also metal. How my group and I at Ayuka are actively involved in decoding how these galaxies evolve over time. If you want to study this, one is to look back in time, something that is possible in astronomy. And we do this by looking at a particular patch of the sky over a longer period of time and create what is called a deep field in astronomy. The deep field allows one to study fainter and further galaxies in the universe. Recently, we have created a UV deep field using the ultraviolet imaging telescope on AstroSat. With the UV deep field of our own and the Hubble deep field in optical and the JWST uh, deep field in infrared, we have discovered some of the cool facts about galaxy formation and evolution today. In the year 2022, we found the evidence of star forming clumps in the outskirts of distant dwarf galaxies and these star, star forming clumps we showed that they would migrate to the central region and grow their stellar mass and luminosity. This was published in Nature in that year. In the year 2020 we found the first, for the first time the evidence of 600 angstrom photons leaking a distant dwarf galaxy, something that is crucial to understand or to, to find the galaxies that reionize the universe. Today using the UV diff field and the optical and IR diff field, our group is um, actively hunting galaxies that, that reionize the universe 